as Zach just said, by the way, um, Zach is not 0 5 and 1 for the year against me. I went again. It came, it, it, hey, brother, it came down to last night. It came down to last night's game. We were tied going to the, the game. Down to the last game. Yeah, I had the over, you had the under. That was it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, well, I guess we'll talk about the trades happening today when we get to the teams that it matters to. Um, although, who's on bias this week, actually? I forgot who's on bias. There's, there's two teams on bias this week. Um, let me see and look up real quick. Um, I think one is the Bears. The Bears are on by this week. Um, yeah, the Bears, Bears and the Cowboys. Who needs it more? Easy question. Easy answer, huh? Oh, my God, the Cowboys. <laughs> How do you go from being, what, 13 and 4 or something last year? 12 and 5 for three straight years. Yeah. Three straight 12 years. 12 and 5. Dude, that. This is atrocious. And guess what? I'm done. You, you, you see the schedule next couple weeks, right? Oh, yeah. They're, they they're, are they're, 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 they're cooked. They're cooked. Because, they, they, in fact, the rest of the year, the, the two easiest games they have is the Giants again, which the way that, that first game went could be a toss-up. Not saying it will be. Dallas will win that game. And then Carolina. That's it. You want a player prop bet? What's when that? the Giants bet play, play the Cowboys – Bet on Dexter Lawrence's sack total. That line is really bad, dude. I did not realize how great he was. Holy hell. Yeah. Anyway, that was the easy answer for that one. Anyway, those are the buys this week. All right, this is the game's first uh, week. Some best bets. You guys know how we do it. Zach and I will, will predict whether or not each of us will predict whether we take the over-under of the game or we pick the team to win on based on the spread, of course. As you guys know, I am 5-0-1 against Zach this year. I'm dominating this year. I love it. <laughs> first game first. Thursday night football, we have the Broncos at Saints. Uh, the return of Sean Payton to New Orleans. Um, Broncos, a one-half point favorite. The over-under is 37, Zach. This line makes no sense to me to begin with. Mm -hmm. how, the, how the Broncos are the favorite at when when the Saints are at home with the weapons they have on offense, makes totally no sense. A guy who threw twenty seven yards for three quarters gets to be a favorite. Yeah, yeah. Broncos, no. are, Broncos are solid though, but I mean, give me Spen Spencer Rattler. Give me the Saints. I, yeah, I kind of see what it's going to, but I'm going to the over. I think the over is the best bet here. I'm not even saying any high scoring game here, but 37 points is low enough to, to take a take a risk on that. Oh yeah. You know, so I'll get you over in this one. All right. Same another... terrible. Yeah. Let's, let's get to another London game here. Um 9 30 a.m. Um we have the Patriots. Oh, God, this is gonna be a will you, will you even watch this game? I don't know. Who knows? Patriots at Jaguars. <laughs> Jaguars to find out one favorite is the over under is 42 and a half, Zach. Oh god. Mimosa time. I'm actually betting this game a lot. So, you know I hit a parlay. I hit a uh, Monday night single game parlay also. So, I bet a little heavy already. And they are on all of my bets. Give me the Patriots plus the points. Really? Yes, Drake May. He wants to throw the football. I don't know what's in the head of Sunshine right now. I thought he was fine on Sunday, actually, to be honest. I thought the rest of the team looked like shit. Yeah. But same with Drake May, too. Drake May, I thought when he came, he played okay yesterday, too. Also, um, well, Sunday, rather. I mean, obviously, Houston, I guess the Houston defense, I mean, you, 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 all, you, all you can do. Houston's got a good defense. They're really good defense. And that was truly his first career start. So Yeah. Yeah, not bad actually for Chris Rock as that team. Um, I'm gonna go the way, man. I mean Jaguars. Jaguars are better than the Patriots. And <clears throat> the Peterson stuff is getting louder. Well, you don't really hear anything about it, but you just assume that it's on a hot seat. Jaguars are better than the record, though, really honestly. Um, and they should win this game with with ease. I mean, I, I can't see another embarrassed performance on the on the road. I'll tell you this much. If they lose this game into New England on the road like this, he's done this week. Yeah, there's no way Hunt Shaw constantly is going to embarrass international waters two weeks in a row. Not happening. Thirty-five no. million dollars a year, well spent. Yeah. Anyway, uh, next one here: Seahawks and Falcons. Falcons are three-point favorites over under fifty-one and a half. Zach. 
I'm going to be a little chicken on this. While I like Atlanta, I'm going to just go with the over. Every game they're in is a high-scoring game. Same with Seattle. Give me the over. It's not a bad bet, though, but I think Atlanta is feeling themselves now, honestly. I'm going to take Atlanta when this game outright. I, I, I told you guys, Seattle ain't good. They're not that good. I said when they're 3-0, they're frauds. I said when the Saints were, were, were 2-0, they're frauds. And guess what? Um, a combined 1-2-4, 6-0 since those, since those times. Give me Atlanta win this game. Atlanta's a good team. They're really a good team. They're, they're starting to figure things out now. I thought that win against Carolina, albeit – it is Carolina, but the way they came out, because that, that could be a weird trap game after winning the game against Tampa week four, an, an emotional win against Tampa week four. You go to pick Carolina, a team that's really, obviously inferior to you, but bad, but, but has been competitive since any Dalton's come, is, is come to the lineup, and you win the way you did. Yeah, I, I, Atlanta, I, just, I, I'm seeing things in Atlanta. I'm not saying they're going to be a, a super contender on that, but they're a sneaky, frisky team here now at this point. Is it possible as Atlanta – trajectory is going for going up yeah right you you think they're figuring everything out yeah B. John robinson could lose his starting job i mean they're they're basically spring splitting carries with algier already so how, what, what do you do this week he did what um i mean look at it right now um so Bijan robinson, yards rushing he had a touchdown though i know that um Bijan. uh Bijan had 15 no well dude they, they, they both crushed it they Algier did. got 105 yards, 18 for 105 for Algier. Robinson had 15 for 95. Oh, man. Yes. Okay. I'm still remembering two weeks ago when they screwed me on a bet. <laughs> but I'll tell you, Kirk Cousins, because that kind of helped now, that's going to be an issue. They're going to be one of those teams. That, look, the, the NFC is wide open. Well, when I say wide open, I mean, I think they're the best team in, in the conference right now. But Atlanta got some, got some ballers. So just saying. But yeah, I like Atlanta here to win this game and and win the cover. I'm sorry, that, that, that line feels low to me, to be honest with you. This this my this is my opinion, even in Atlanta. All right, Titans at Bills. Uh, Bills are nine point favorites. The over under is forty one. Zach. Now you know Buffalo did this acquire Amari Cooper today. Yeah, I mean that is a lot of points. It is. But I do believe Tennessee is one of the the three worst teams in football. Easily. Well, well, I don't know. Three worst teams? There's definitely a bottom six or seven that's definitely have a, a point. So your bottom five, I mean, Patriots definitely there. Panthers definitely there. Dolphins right now before the quarterback gets back, definitely there. Without I'll play Tua. scared. I'll just, Cleveland. I'll just take the under. I'm I don't Cleveland. see the Dolphins as, as one of the bottom teams if they had their quarterback back. Well, which which he should come back in the next two weeks. Yeah, for so. hearing. Um, but right now he's not there. So, in any in, in any case, though, Buffalo will win this game and they'll cover nine points. I think I think Buffalo. Will, I think with Mark Cooper, I think they'll uh be fired up. This is, this, this is just the juice they need right now in their offense. You know, it was a sloppy win last night as a Jets. So, but divisional app, divisional physics, obviously, you have to get respect that too as well. All right. Battle Ohio here. Bengals at Browns. Uh, Bengals are six and a half point favorites. The over under 42. Zach. Oh, I love I love the Bengals in this game. I- I'm done believing that the ba- that the Browns have any chance in a game with their defense. I'm just done with them. Give me the Bengals. So here's the thing. Historically, the Bengals have a hard time with, with the Browns. Historically, in, in the Joe Burrow era for the record. Um but again, things are imploding in in in, in Cleveland. They already traded away Mari Cooper. We were talking before this podcast started today. You believe they're gonna they're gonna continue selling out parts, not named Sean Watson, because no one's gonna take that contract, obviously. Yeah, I I honestly believe Denzel Ward could be traded before before yeah the uh, deadline. So that's why it's tempting to take the Bengals and the points here on uh, to cover. But I, I'm gonna take the under in this game because I think the Bengals won this game. But the Bengals are are also desperate too as well. But give me the under in this one. You under this one because this is a rivalry here too. Also, I'm thinking the Browns don't want to get embarrassed. The Browns, here's the thing about, about, about the Browns, as bad as they are, <clears throat> they are competitive. Outside, I think outside the one loss against um, Washington this year, and maybe Dallas in Week One, they've been competitive in most of their games. So, you got to figure to be competitive here in, in the divisional game against their state rival. Everything's going on. 
Yeah. I, I, I give me under this one. Bengals win, but give me under. All right. Probably game of the week here. Probably. Texans at Packers. Uh, Packers are three point favorites. Over under is 47 and a half, Zach. As much as I believe Green, Green Bay is a step above them, the easy bet is just take the over. I mean, don't even think about it. Just bet the over. You know, there's going to be a ton of points. Yeah, I'm the same way, too. I, th- I think the over is the best bet as well, too. Um, <clears throat> this is a definitely a big game for perception from both teams. Like, I don't think anyone's picking Houston win the AFC or Pakistan in the, in the NFC necessarily. But this is, a, this, this is definitely a, a positioning game of, of, like, yeah, by the way, don't forget us in the conference. Because we all agree that in the AFC, it's it's KC and it's Baltimore. Yeah. In the NFC right now is Detroit. And I'm, I'm still going to say San Francisco because once it gets healthy, it should be okay. Yeah. I, but, I, I would even lean towards Green Bay already because you can't trust San Fran's health anymore. Right, right. True, true, true. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. The Niners' health might be an issue this time around as opposed to like recent years. But, yeah, the over is the best bet here. Um, I do think the Packers win this game, though. But I think the best bet is the over, honestly. All right. Dolphins at Colts. The uh, Colts are three-point favorites. The over-under is 44, Zach. Uh, as, long, as long as two is not there, Dolphins stand no chance, really, of putting up more than 10 points. So give me the Colts, and I it might get ugly. Yeah, I see that. But for that reason, also, though, you, you said there about two not being there. Dolphins going to more than 10 points. Give me the under on this one. Um, at 44. That's a high number, actually, for a team that can't score for shit. And Indianapolis is hit or miss. Um, this word also that if Anthony Richards may be back this week for this uh, starting this week for the uh, Colts again. Um, I don't know if it's the right move at all because I tell you what, the, the Colts' offense is much better with Flacco under center, at least consistent, yeah. you know. But give me the under this one. Um, big game for, for Miami, too, also because if they can win this game, especially too, I think two will be back next week, the week after, rather. And uh, I think, um, uh, Dolphins will be at what at that point three and three. Not a bad spot to be in. The only game behind Buffalo with a chance to yeah. mix them around, you know. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm sorry. This is a game of week probably here. Lions and Vikings. Vikings are one point favorites. The over under is fifty. Zach. Uh, easiest bet in the world would be uh, first half over. I mean, the Vikings love to jump out to a lead. <clears throat> The Lions always score a ton in the first half. Like the lock of the century, or at least this season, will be be the first half over. So just give me the over for the game. I'll be honest with you. I think Detroit's the best team in the NFC. I'm there. Um, I don't care about the Vikings record. Vikings can say, well, we're undefeated. Well, this is we're gonna find out how good you guys are. Um I I, I love this Detroit team, what they're doing. You were you were in the t-shirt here. You guys see on the, on the YouTube page. Um, he's wearing a t-shirt, the Lions shirt, for example. Um, they're 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 a Super Bowl team. Um, what they do, and obviously that injury to uh, Hutchinson's gonna be a, be a big deal. It's gonna hurt a little bit, but I don't. I I do think they can. Not you're not gonna replace that kind of production, but I think their team overall is so gelled right now on both sides, all three, in all three phases of, of the football. I think it can offset losing him, if you, know, if you know what I mean. No, a- absolutely. And I think you kind of saw how well the offensive side of the ball is gelled together mm-hmm. when you watch Ben Johnson just call all of those gadget plays yeah. in one game. What was it? Three different flea flickers. You're using offensive linemen to go out to catch touchdown passes, yeah. go for screens. I mean, it was a ex- – Exciting game. Yeah, give me Detroit win this game outright. They win, and I'll be honest with you, they win convincingly this week against Detroit, against Minnesota. Rather, I, I, I'm, I believe, I'm, I'm a believer in this team. I really, I really am. They might, they, they actually, I won't say it, but they might be the best team in football right now. You have KC, and then probably them. Oh, I mean, if we're going right now over the last three weeks. 
I mean, the the two teams that would be battling battling it out would be Baltimore and Detroit. Both would be the third. Would be the third team. I don't. I don't even think Kansas City over the last three weeks would stand a chance against either of these two teams. Yeah, Detroit because Detroit. If Detroit play Baltimore right now, that's a fifty fifty game in my opinion at the very least. Yeah. Same with the Chiefs. They played the Chiefs right now as well too because Baltimore can't stop anybody and Baltimore's offense is is right is, is going to pick part that the Ravens defense. So. But give me Detroit win this game out, right? All right, uh, and win convincingly as well. Okay, Eagles or Giants? Uh, Eagles three point favorites over under forty three. Zach. So, if Malik Neighbors plays, I would take the Giants outright to win the game. But I'm gonna take the Giants plus the points. So you see less. Than, you see less than a field goal. Yeah. Wow. But they played Cleveland and almost lost the game just because of special teams and defense. Yeah, against Cleveland. So yeah. I, I'm sorry, the Giants have at least a little more going on than Cleveland. Problem is New York can't score for shit. It's a problem. Yeah. They can't score. They can't score. And I think the Eagles need a get right game, even while while winning last week as Cleveland. And I don't know. This is going to be a I think it's going to be like a twenty four twenty game match. To be honest with you, Eagles win, so Eagles cover barely uh, right. in a competitive game. But they need to get right. The Eagles need need a get right game, and who knows? This is the fighting game and do it. You know, I mean, I hope I'm wrong. I hate the Eagles. Look, you know, obviously. Look, I'm going to be honest. After the after we're done with this podcast, I'm betting Dexter Lawrence for Defensive Player of the Year. Kid's I, amazing. Again, just every time I think about him as we're talking, it's like, why have I not put money on him yet? What kind of odds you get on that? Probably like plus seven hundred, plus six hundred. No, I think it was plus like sixteen hundred still. Who's that? Team better? Shit. Yeah. No, no. He was like. Fourth or fifth down the line. Because I don't think he'll get any consideration as the Giants win playing contention, unfortunately. Yeah, exactly. So it makes it so worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Give me Eagles, though. All right. Next one here Raiders at Rams. Uh, the Rams are six and a half point favorites. The over under is four, three and a half, Zach. Just give me the over. I want to, I want to say, give me the Rams, but no, give me the over because. I think the Raiders will still be able to score points. Yeah, I'm the same way too. I I would take the Rams off a bye, but Raiders are Raiders are weird. You, you know they they you know they get Adams obviously. That's on that's in the, in the past now. Um, I think Aiden O'Connell starting again this week. I believe. Yeah. Um, four three and a half is low enough to to say yeah over. Why not? You know, Rams. I don't know if they if they get, if they get guys back this week after the bye. I don't know. Is a, is Cooper Cup back? I don't, I don't know. No, I have no idea. <laughs> Was that Puka cool, 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 cool. I don't know. So I'll take you over on that one. All right. We got Panthers at Commanders. Uh, Commanders are seven and a half point favorites. The over under is 51 and a half, Zach. You saying seven and a half has made me happy because I've already bet the Commanders at eight and a half. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Pull bet, so then pull the bet back and then and put in a new one. No, fuck that. Just make another bet. Oh, make, make, make a second back. Yeah, why not okay. win? More Double down. Money? Well, you're such a degenerate. No, that's of course that's your name. <laughs> I mean, it makes no sense. If you like to add a higher one, just bet it again as the line goes down. Yeah, you got you got Washington, obviously, right? Absolutely, I do too as well. By the way, I feel good about the Commanders, even in a loss. Last week, my my thing was I was talking to Kyle about this on the last episode about how it wasn't enough, it wasn't just about Washington winning the game for me. They needed to pass a smell test, and I thought the Commanders passed a smell test this week. Like, yeah, yeah we can hang with it. We can hang with the Ravens. We can hang with the Chiefs. Probably not going to beat them, but we look like a team that's on on the up and up. And with a couple things coming, a couple things to uh, you know to uh you know a couple of tweaks from the roster and this and that. It's the future. Yeah, maybe so, if Washington trades for a corner and look out, we might be be dangerous. Yeah, absolutely. All right, I right, Washington as well too. All right, how about this one? Niners, uh, Chiefs at Niners. 
Uh, Niners one point favorites over under 46 and a half, Zach. You know what? I feel bad for the Chiefs. You're going to lose to an undermanned San Fran team. But you're bound to lose. You, you, you've caught so many breaks. But Nick per- or Brock Purdy, he's going to look real good this weekend. I'm the same way, too. I don't know as well. The, the, look, the Chiefs are not going to win every game. They're not going to win every game this year. And they, might, and they might lose a game this year to a team they shouldn't lose to. You know, they, they, they will lose about three or four games this year. It's, it's, it's going to happen. And I agree. This, this is where it ends this week. I, 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 my lock of the week this week is going to be the fact that there will, will not be any unbeaten teams in the league after this week. So give me the, uh, the Niners as well, too, to win this game. This is, this is when the Niners make their, their trek back to, you know, back to the top of the NFC. So there you go. All you right. Look up the odds for that, man. For what? Minnesota and KC losing. Is there? Is, you think there's a problem on that one now? There's got to be a problem. Find him. Find him. If you, if you find that, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll bet that shit. All right. But I don't, I don't know how much you can on that, though, because, like, I'll it, be straight up. I'll be a straight up bet, obviously, because both spreads are one point spreads. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So, all right. Jets at Steelers, Sunday football. Jets one half point favorites over under 38. Jets just acquired Devontae Adams. It's a good move. It helps them out. But I think if your O line, if you, if you can't improve your O line, you're fucked anyway because O line sucks. Yeah, exactly. Give me, give me the under. And it, if Dexter Lawrence took over that game, what do you think TJ Watt's gonna do? Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm taking you over though. Wow. For some reason, for some reason, I think they'll find more than three eight points somewhere. Because the Steelers have those games. Sometimes they'll be able to score. Some those games they'll score. Once in a while, the Steelers will have a game where they'll score 29 points. I mean, 30. they just did that, right? Exactly. So, like, the indie so, game, too. I mean, so. You don't think the Jets defense can show up and shut down Justin Fields? I, I, I can see a defensive pick six here and there that can make the put over the top. So, you, st- right. you know, I just see it happening there. All right. It's, it's, it's just low enough. That's the thing. It's 38 points. It's low enough. All right. We got two Monday football games this week again. First one, Ravens at Bucks. Bucks three and a half point favorites, the over under 48 points, Zach. The Bucks are the favorites? No, no, no. Baltimore is. Maybe. Okay. I was about to say, shit, I need to go re- re- readjust my bets. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, give me Baltimore to cover in this game. You know, the safe bet is to take the over because they always score points. I think they're two of the five highest scoring offenses in all of football. So, to take the over or the Ravens? No, I want to take the Ravens, but because I don't want to be safe on this pick. Okay. I have Ravens as well, too. Also, they continue their their dominant like winning streak yeah. as well. Over the Bucks, I'll tell you, man, they're tough. They're tough. Oh, yeah. And the over is definitely tempting because the Bucks can put up points also, too. Exactly. So, and the Ravens don't exactly have a great defense. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if not it, against the pass. Yeah. 40 points, though. Oof. I don't know. We'll see. And finally, the next one, the next football game, Chargers at Cardinals. Chargers 20 point favorites over under 44 points. Zachary. I'm going to take the Chargers. Mm-hmm. It is a very boring offense. But it works. But it is productive in the win total. Yep. And I told you guys when you started. I believe in Jim, Jim Harbaugh. And I told you, if the Chargers team's in the playoffs, don't be surprised. You know why? Because everywhere this guy goes, culture changes. And you're already seeing it here. Yep. Give me, uh, I, give, I like the Chargers win this game too well, but give me the under in this game also as well. Give me under in this game. I think there'll be no scoring. I think they'll keep it under 44 points. It's a high number for Chargers game, actually. Yeah. Honestly. So. All right, qu- 